let's take you through the f- top five best destinations. So my number one is uh, Thailand. So when I tend to travel, I tend to travel with a group of friends. So we're talking about different races. Thailand is a huge magical place. As soon as you get there, it's vibrant, it's colorful, it's busy, people everywhere. So we we arrived straight from London into Bangkok. And as soon as we got there, we encountered the heavy traffic, but uh, we stayed a couple of days in Bangkok. We enjoyed some of the culture, some of the big markets, went to some of the main tourist sites. Then we moved on to Forget, which is one of the bigger islands. Forget happens to be very commercial, has a nice beach to go along with it. And from Forget, we we moved over to Koh Samui. And the only way to get to Koh Samui is by boat. So the place is very remote. And then from there we took a day trip to Fifi Island which is a very popular island because that is where um, Leonardo DiCaprio filmed one of his uh, films. Location wise cannot fault uh, uh, Thailand. It's, uh, it does take a long time to get there. We went from the UK and it took us 10 hours to get there. Um, cost obviously uh the main cost is getting a flight from where you are to thailand that's the main cost that we incurred anyway and uh, we, we had a group of us four together all together but once we got to thailand um it's very 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 cheap you can go to various shows that are put on forget has a place where they put on shows uh some of the shows are basically performed solely by lady boys and you have the Thai massage which is obviously from Thailand the food folks the food is amazing because not only is it aromatic it's also full of flavors it's also full of spices and herbs and it's the most delicious food you can come across so that's why Thailand in my book is uh, number one so that's one of the top places because the people are so warm and welcoming Cuba so Cuba is the biggest island in the Caribbean Um, you won't find much information or it's not as busy and popular and it's not as busy and well advertised like the other islands in the Caribbean i.e. the, the Jamaica or or St. Lucia or Trinidad and Tobago and so forth mainly because the I think the United States still has a huge embargo against Cuba so it basically discourages its allies not to do business with Cuba so it's it's slowly up and coming but it isn't as as popular as it should be compared to the rest of the uh, islands in the Caribbean but we went there again a group of us multicultural group and uh, we enjoyed it immensely we, we traveled straight from London to Havana the flight was pretty straightforward it was with Virgin Atlantic and uh, once we got there we were headed straight to hotel which was booked by one of my friends and then immediately we arrived and we discovered that uh, being in a hotel after speaking to some of the locals isn't the best option for you to have because the people in the hotel are going to be very restrictive and uh, you're not allowed guests that they can't even come in to the bar and have a drink with you so what you have to do is to get yourself an airbnb or rent yourself an apartment somewhere we also found someone that uh, had a car and they offered to chauffeur us back and forth at any time instead of us taking taxis Havana like I said is a big city it's uh, it's also got its own beach 
in front of the beach they got the, this thing which is called the malacorn which people tend to gravitate towards there um, just outside of Old Town and uh, people go there to chill out at night you have people uh, with musical instruments playing musical instruments singing dancing it's uh, the vibe it's just all it's just all a good friendly vibe um, security wise it's very what they're doing is uh, make sure that the tourists are well looked after and secure um, one thing you have to be aware of is that the authorities don't allow the locals to mix with the tourists make sure you get yourself a local contact or speak to the uh, people that you're staying with or in the hotels to give you information on where to go where not to go because there's a lot, a lot of places out there and um, a few of them are not in the guide and uh, if you speak to the locals they will give you the uh, the best options i would avoid most of the clubs because they tend to be populated with uh, working girls uh, once we we had a couple of days in Havana we moved on to a small town called Trinidad it's very quaint and uh, colorful one of the main thing uh, main sources of attraction is the musical steps so these are these are these huge steps that go up this uh, sort of small slope and uh, on either side of the steps you have uh, cafes and uh, bars and then at certain times of the week you'll have uh, live musical bands or DJs that play salsa music and people come out both locals and tourists come out and uh, have a good time also in Trinidad we've got the caves um, these extensive caves and even one of the caves there's a club inside the cave obviously it's all the way across the Atlantic so we went from London to there so we're talking about a nine eight to nine hour flight um, so that's your main cost once you get there it's pretty cheap if you stick to the local food and drinks it's very very cheap uh, the people are very innocent and uh, very welcoming they're keen to learn now the next one is Tallinn and I've also put Hungary as well so these were these were basically on a park but it's got an old town which is not that big but it's very picturesque as you can see in the uh, in the images it's it looks like a picture postcard the people are very hospitable very fr friendly again if you're from if you're people from different races then they're even more interested because they don't have that many visitors from places outside of the main European cities they'll be happy to see you they'll welcome you they'll they'll welcome you with open arms they've got their own culture mixed in with a bit of Russian and yeah we spent a, a whole weekend there we thoroughly enjoyed it uh, like I said the people made us everyone everyone feel welcome now Hungary Hungary is the slightly bigger so it's a, it's a slightly bigger city so we flew from uh, from the UK to Budapest Budapest is basically two halves of one city basically one part is called Buda and the other one is called Pest and uh, the city I understand well parts of the city where they said were modeled the design was modeled on London so the houses of parliament sort of looks a little bit like the houses of parliament in, in London again this was a weekend trip that we a group of us did but I'm sure most of these places if you go during the summertime then there'll be a lot more in terms of festival festivals and uh, local traditional events uh, a lot of uh, good sophisticated restaurants bars and so forth greece was one of the uh first places that we went i went to with friends as we started to travel and the uh, the greeks know how to handle the english in terms of location 
I'll take you through the different places that we went to. Sakinthos, or Zante for short. And that's one of the uh, main party islands in Greece. And uh, once you get there, you'll find a lot of tourists from Western Europe. Uh, mostly from England, I would say. Uh, a few of the uh, Scandinavian countries as well, plus Germany. The cost is cheap but not that cheap compared to some of the other places because it uses the euro. People are very friendly and uh, accommodating to people from all walks of life. So the Greek people also are very cultured and well educated. So they, they know their, their ancient history. They know about the contributions that um, historical places have have made to this world places like ancient egypt and um, africans also went to malia which is in crete uh, another party island uh, very busy again mainly populated with a lot of people from the uh, from the uk and um, similar to santi really in terms of uh, uh, amenities activities that you can do cost is very similar people as we've said well educated very cultured and very respectful you can see the greek culture on display in certain parts of the island and the food i'm afraid to say that the food is tend is they tend to cater for the western european palate so they cater for it's not a sophisticated palate as well so they they will cater for people that like to have chips with everything couldn't find um authentic greek restaurants another time that we went to greece was Rhodes. Rhodes, and we went to a small town called lindos and lindos is built around this big um rock or small mountain we could say and on top of the mountain there's an acropolis this particular place is a bit of a more sophisticated mature um less of a party sort of place to go to my final destinations of places that are welcome into all races regardless of your white black or brown well this is more, more of a continent than a location and that continent is africa uh, i'm only going to speak about the uh the places that i've actually been to so when you get to africa they're going to treat you like a king or a queen they treat you like royalty uh the food is amazing if you're adventurous enough to to check out the food obviously it's cheap once you get there the only expenses the uh the travel uh, the other part of africa which we visited was in egypt is the home of the ancient egyptians land of the pharaohs is a place where i think everyone who travels should go and see one of the wonders of the ancient world which is the the pyramids well, I traveled from London to Cairo and uh, that took I think between four between four and five hours um, Cairo is a very busy and uh, metropolitan city so the there's a lot of traffic the cost of living yet uh, yet again will be cheaper uh, the people are friendly enough tourism is one of their main sources of income so they're quite polite and friendly obviously they've got their own culture so in addition to the ancient egyptian culture in terms of the food wasn't particularly impressed by the food and again if i was to give this out of mark this out of five stars i would give this four four stars don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well.